Well, yeah, let's, if you don't mind, if we go down that um, rabbit hole of weapons real quick, there's four weapons that your group needs to have. You know, first is handguns, because they can always be with you. They can go everywhere. You can go to the bathroom with you if you need to. You know, uh, the second thing you need is a shotgun. Why? Because on the North American continent, shotguns can kill anything so they can feed you. Um, and also for your defense, they don't outrange your handgun, but they deliver much more devastating firepower over that range. Uh, the next thing you need is a carbine. And I define a carbine as something able to put down a volume of fire and reach out accurately to about 300 meters. Uh, and then last but not least, you need a scoped rifle. And specifically that term scoped rifle, not sniper rifle. And the reason you need a scoped rifle is you need something preferably 30 caliber range so you can reliably consistently get out to 600 meters should your area warrant it. Now, some places are not. If you're like in Arlington, Alexandria, you ain't reaching out to 100 anywhere, much less 600. So maybe that's not important there. But out in western Loudoun County, you know, yeah, you need that capability to reach that far you should have access to all four of those weapons and have some form of proficiency in them. You know, because one of the things that allows you to do, if you go out on a foraging mission, out goes your handgun and your carbine with you, well, these other two weapon systems are back at the house. Gives them long range and close in defense. If I had a uh, pretty decent 12 gauge, a good pump or reliable uh, semi-auto, I might arm my squad leader with that because it has two, it can go back into two different modalities. Number one, I can shoot, you know, buckshot, different variants, double lot buck, single lot butt, whatever, all the way down to, you know, a number four turkey shoot can still just, it just puts out a hell of a pattern. Um, I don't want the squad leader shooting at 800 meter targets. I want him directing his combat power. And so arming him with maybe a sidearm, but um, a shotgun makes a lot of sense because it says, hey, do this. But also for those things that come in close and he wants to do penetration, throw in a slug. You drop in a, you know, a few slugs down that tube and you are penetrating uh, really, really well against you know, vehicles, around barriers and stuff like that. So I wouldn't mind doing exactly what Brent said, but if I have it available, I'll go ahead and... Uh, arm the squad leader with a 12 gauge and probably and 12 gauge can shoot a flare too oh yeah that's that right for yeah for different set pyrotechnic signaling all that stuff good point see y'all got me thinking about shotguns now. i've always kind of neglected like yeah i'm never really gonna use that but hey, look, you're in a situation it. where it's so bad that you know there's no law enforcement or government of any type around you're not going to have logistics either, so you're going to need a shotgun to feed everybody. 